in module 42 we will discuss intellectual diversity and academic uh, professionalism uh, diverse uh, intellectual diversity is uh, is is a natural phenomena everyone has their own intellectual diversity one is different uh, from other one on the basis of not only the height or the color or the physical structure but on the intellect therefore uh, uh, in, the, in, in, in the professional field, the teacher is supposed to have, uh, have the understanding, have the respect to the intellectual freedom and the intellectual, right, uh, intellectual rights. And in, a, and, and in this way, he should be encouraging to the uh, exploration of the variety of the ideological, political perspective of uh, an individual or in a system. And that uh, teaching, uh, like other professions, uh, uh, law and medicine and the business, is also an academic field. And as an academic, as as a professional field, and in the professional field, uh, as an academic, academics are the in the professional field of the teaching, and they have, uh, being the professional, they have the responsibility in the different way. Number one, or the first, is to master the field. And other one is the responsibility uh, uh, to the tradition of the inquiry, means in the research, means in the exploration, means to investigate further. Uh, therefore, the obligation are what is the greatest in the field, means what kind of the knowledge available in the field, and what methods of uh, the inquiry are there to be followed for further knowledge. Uh, academic in inquiry mm, um, is related with the intellectual diversity. It it is directly linked with the, uh, the the diversity of the one's capabilities from the others. So one should uh, be recognizing the others others uh, uh, diversity, a uh, diversity not in terms only in the culture, in terms of the language, in terms of uh, one's. Uh, one's religion, etc., but in, in the thought, in the philosophy, in the, in, in the intellectual level, in the intellect. So he has to uh, respect this one. And that is based on the constituent, constituted the essence of the profession since its beginning. And we should respect and protect the uh, tradition of uh, uh, an individual, tradition of uh, the knowledge uh, um, uh, or the background of the individual. Uh, and, and on the basis of this, we can say that uh, there is the variety of an individual, variety of the intellect, or diversity of the in intellect, uh, because of the uh, thoughts and ideas, because of the hypothesis and the conjectures, proposals and the arguments, and the criticism and the counter arguments, etc. Uh, uh, what is the underpinning of uh, uh, intellectual? diversity how can we explore how can we underpin how we can disclose one's intellectual diversity it is uh, we should respect the questioning we should respect the argument we should respect the cross questioning and we should respect uh, we should judge the argument on the merit not on the personal biases or the personal preferences uh, preferences and not on on the personal interests etc we can say on this uh, basis of these discussions that the people have different kind of the skills and different kind of the knowledge, different kind of the culture, etc. Uh, they have their own way of the investigation of the things. They can investigate by one or other way. And uh, if the situation or if an individual, if the teacher permits them to investigation, because that as a tradition, you, uh, if you look at the, the history, that those people who were investigators or the researchers were not appreciated by the by by the rulers. If you look at the uh, old history of the nations, that those who were the investigators were not permitted. So now the time has come that the intellectual diversity, intellectual uh, uh, rights. Or the identification of individual should be explored, should be appreciated, should be responded, and this is based of on the questions and the cross questions, and on that way 
one can arrive at the varied or the different conclusions and for that diversity intellectual diversity cultural diversity here we are talking about the intellectual diversity diversity is the only what generates uh, intellectual vitality because of the diversity you can create new ideas new thinking you can practice new ideas and new thinking and in this way we should respect uh, 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 respect the intellectual diversity as an uh, as an professional academics otherwise new knowledge and new uh, new thinking patterns would not be respected uh, in the classroom and new knowledge would not be available uh, because of the, this discouragement therefore teaching as a profession teacher should have knowledge teacher should acquire knowledge to 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 appreciate intellectual diversity if this was not appreciated then the learners or the students of uh, as a teacher would have not been crossing the levels or the structures of the teachers that those professional teachers are considered as the respectable teachers those who respect the individuals competencies individuals diversified intellect you can't as a natural phenomena you can't bring someone uh, that person with the high intellect uh, at par with the lower intellect or the uh, the media care level so one has to in increase the or address the level of the lower level of the intellect and try to increase and try to 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 appreciate and try to motivate and as far as the high level of the intellect is concerned that should be respected in terms of in depth knowledge and in terms of the approaches of the investigation and the research